Welcome back, Super Radio Brothers Astronomy Edition. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me. You were here with me when I first got my big Apertura AD 12, 12 inch Dobsonian telescope. And part of the purpose of these videos is to help you make the decision, is a 12 inch Dobsonian telescope right for me? And so far it has been right for me. I've seen everything you can imagine from the planets in the solar system to the great Orion Nebula to M13 Hercules, the great globular cluster. I mean, you name it, I've seen it, planetary nebula, and, and I've had a great time with it. If you're into visual astronomy, this is the perfect telescope for you. But if you have ambitious thoughts about astrophotography, can I do astrophotography with a 12 inch Dobsonian telescope? Well, the answer is yes and no. No, if you're trying to see some of those deep sky objects, whether it's uh, you know the great Orion Nebula or a planetary nebula, things of that nature, you're gonna need tracking. You're gonna need software that is gonna, you, you gotta stack photos. There's a whole bunch of things that you need that a, a Dobsonian telescope just doesn't do for you, especially the tracking, that's the big deal here. But you can take some pretty cool pictures uh, with a limited arsenal of, of, uh, of equipment. Uh, all you need is an eyepiece, something to hook up your smartphone to, and the most important thing, especially when you're imaging the moon, uh, which is a variable polarizing filter, and I'll show you how to use that as well. Even just for a strict uh, uh, visual observing of the moon, you need a variable polarizing filter. So. I was able to get out there just to give you some examples of what I was able to do. There's my picture of the moon the other night, some great detail there. That's using a 12 millimeter eyepiece. You know, I have this Celestron XLLX eyepiece. It's a good option, uh, economy option, if you want a better eyepiece, but you don't want to spend a ton of money. These are running for about $100 each. They're really good for my purposes. Uh, that picture was taken with this and iPhone 10, and of course, the variable polarizing filter. You get some good shots there. This picture I am extremely proud of. You had Mars very close to the moon. And there you go, there's my shot of the moon hanging out with Mars the other night. And this is actually a five millimeter eyepiece, same brand, the XL uh, Celestron eyepiece. This is a five millimeter eyepiece uh, with this picture. So as you can see, pretty cool cool enough to post and get the comments and the likes for people who uh, don't know astronomy so well. So uh, let me demonstrate for you how exactly to uh, take a photo of the moon or planets here in the solar system with your 12 inch Dobsonian. Okay, it's a very simple setup here. What you have is of course your eyepiece and maybe the most important part, the variable polarizing filter you're gonna use this to dim the light of the moon so you can capture images of it without burning your eyes out. Very useful. And put these ends together and you attach it to the eyepiece. Like so. Also, you use this contraption to hook up the eyepiece to your iPhone. And again, this is for objects in the solar system. You're not going to be able to film things like the Whirlpool Galaxy, the Ring Nebula, which is so bizarre to look at. It's so cool. And I remember thinking to myself, man, I wish I could film this. But this setup will allow you to film within the solar system, the planets, the moon. Screw this on here, put that nice and tight, and then you're gonna attach your phone, align it with the eyepiece, align the eyepiece with the camera, snaps on there, tighten it, and that's about it. And that's how you set it up. And this is also a pretty important piece as well. You can snap pictures using this without having to tap your phone. And when you tap your phone and it's attached to the telescope, uh, it makes the whole rig shake. And unfortunately that makes the picture blurry. So you really need this to just pop it in here on your telescope. And now you're officially an astrophotographer, well, somewhat.
And it's as simple as that. Uh, you can get some pretty cool pictures of the moon and, and objects in the solar system using your Apertura AD12 and an iPhone and, and, and hook it up to your telescope exactly as I just showed you. Now, you might be still asking yourself the question, is the 12 inch Dobsonian right for me? Well, yeah, if you're into visual astronomy and once in a while take a cool picture of the moon, it's perfect for you. But if you're thinking about astrophotography, you need to save up your money and, and buy a, a different telescope with, with reliable tracking and all those things so that you can get into that. Now, I know uh, people talk about the tracking platform uh, that you can buy for a Dobsonian telescope. I have my doubts about those. Now, if you have had a great experience using a tracking platform with your Dob, let us know about it in the comments section below because I want to look into it. I would love to maybe get a tracking platform and get into astrophotography using my Dob, but uh, I need to know someone else who maybe has had success using a, a tracking platform for a Dobsonian telescope. Uh, so anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Clear skies.